everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, you asked, you requested, and I answered. So, I had so, well, I'm not going to even trip. I don't know if I had so many, but I had a few people ask me to do my Show Me Your Dent Victoria's Secret Fragrance Mist. And I was surprised I have as, well, I didn't count them because, you know, I do that with y'all in the video. But I'm surprised I have as many as I do. So I have Victoria's Secret and Pink. And I'm also, I decided to just go for broke. And then I pulled out some fragrance smiths also that aren't Victoria's Secret or Bath & Body Works to show you that there's some dentage going on with them also. Well, I hope I'm in the same spot because I had to get up because I forgot a mist. Y'all, if you've been watching my Show Me Your Dent videos, I've been on the struggle bus. I keep forgetting stuff. So we're just going to jump into it, okay? So it looks like I have less of the pink one, so we're going to start with the pink. So the first mist I have here is Calm Water, and this has Water Lily and Juicy Pear. So I'm not going to tell you the notes on all these. That, that just was habit <laughs> when I just did that. So you can see it has a pretty nice dent in it. This is the one I couldn't remember when I was trying to tell you all about the a calm water scent that I preferred in my Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale recommendations or something video. I'll link it above if you want to see it, check it out. So this is one, oh my goodness, this smells so good. This smells just like um, infused water with pear. It's sweet. It's soft. It's fruity. It's aquatic. It's good, good. And that is calm water, honey. So good. Wish I had a couple of those in my collection. This is Cozy Sugar. And if you can't see it, the dent is right here. I was so excited about this because this had marshmallow Y'all, it's been a while since I sprayed this. So this is, this collection was kind of a weird one because some of these mists can smell a little off-putting in this collection and then they have to calm down. But this is one, it is like a sugary, fluffy, marshmallowy, vanilla scent. And it is nice and I'm glad I have it in my collection. And again, that is Cozy Sugar. Next in that collection, which is, I think it's probably my favorite, and then I stopped wearing it because I was like, I'm going through it. And this is Vanilla Bean and Orchid. And so there is the dent right there. I know you like going through it, but <laughs> I was trying to find a backup of this and couldn't. And then I just stopped wearing it. But I have gotten over that, y'all, for the most part. It's still some that's going to be hard for me to use. Yes, this is just a nice soft vanilla bean floral scent it's comforting not too sweet it's a really nice vanilla and i do enjoy it and that is fresh vanilla okay this is pink what is this pink power so i'm right here on this one this is one i remember living ash recommended and it's a vanilla but it's not a vanilla i like and i saw it at an outlet and and she was loving it at the time and i said oh i'm gonna get it and it's just okay it's not a great vanilla and that's why i said my project use it up because it's okay it's nice but it's not one i'm in love with we'll see if i get to finish it up in this project will i fall in love with it because that's been known to happen but right now this is one i don't think to reach for i don't think of when I think of vanilla, I never think, woo, let me grab that pink power until it was in my project. So that's why I have a dent in it because I'm trying to use it up. But I haven't even worn it since it's been in the project. So I don't know, y'all. It's okay. It's not bad, but it's not great. This is pink lemonade. So this has a little bit of a dent and this smells like pink lemonade. I mean, this smells like some pretty pink lemonade and I love it love it pink lemonade this is warm and cozy this has a nice little dent in it this is 
kind of a fruity, coconutty, fluffy vanilla scent. It's one I used to wear back in the day, and then I heard so many people keep talking about that. I decided to get it again, and it's a good one. Just a good one where you smell nice, um, girly, sweet, and soft. This is Cocoa Vanilla, and this has a pretty good dent. I, people did not like this. They said it didn't smell like the lotion. They didn't like it. I myself don't know why they added the doggone pear when the pear wasn't in the doggone lotion. So I get that. But to me, this smells pretty much like the lotion to me. And I did enjoy it. It's a like a tropical, creamy, coconut, vanilla scent that I like. So I like this one. Cocoa Vanilla. This is Basic Vanilla. And if you can't see it, the dent is right there. This one is Airy Chai Marshmallow Perfection. And people say it is basic. That's why it's called a basic vanilla. It is a basic vanilla, but honey, it is basically good. It is very good. I really enjoyed this one, Basic Vanilla. I got a lot of doggone vanilla. This is Vanilla Swirl. And if you can see, oh my goodness, it's right there. I thought I'll take my ring off. This is one that's a good one. It's a sugary, bakey, baking, like frosting vanilla. It's, it's good. I really do like this one, Vanilla Swirl. Okay, this is Wild Cherry. And here is the dent. This is a honeyed cherry. It's not, I, I wouldn't call it juicy. I wouldn't really call it sweet. Um, I, I, it's, it's a honey cherry. That's what it is. It's got that honey. If you know, if you've had body care with a predominant honey note, you'll understand what I'm saying because you get that honeyed vibe. And it is unique to me, and that is Wild Cherry. All right, my last um, fragrance mist from Pink with a dent in it is Soft and Dreamy. You can see the dent is about right there. This is one when I first got it, I was like, what the heck? But it's pretty it's full it's like a soft floral kind of fabric softener dryer sheet vibes like you have a matching uh a good smelling fabric softener and the matching dryer sheet and that's what this is because it's soft, it's pretty, it's floral, but it's got that freshness to it. So it's good. Soft and dreamy. Okay, on to the Victoria's Secret Fragrance Mist. Now this is Sunshine Haze. And you see this has a substantial dent. I don't like this. I don't have the top for this because I use this as a room spray, a shower spray. Um, because I didn't go return it. and But I don't like it. It's a... It's not bad, but it's, I don't, I've come to realize this has honeysuckle. I'm not a big honeysuckle fan. So this is one, it's just okay. If you loved honeysuckle, you probably like it. I mean, it smells like a floral, musky fragrance mist from Victoria's Secret. This is Spring Poppies. I remember this collection. I was like, oh my goodness. And I think this is when Victoria's Secret was still shut down. And I had to order online. Yeah, this is a nice kind of candy sweet floral scent. It's pretty spring poppies. I think I have dents in, well, I was going to try to show you like, oh, here's the other one from that collection. This is Wild Primrose. So this has a pretty good dent. This is another, this collection was very floral, but from to my nose, it gave me like candy floral scents. And that's what this one did too, Wild Prim Rose. And I think this is the last fragrance mist from this uh, floral collection they brought out. And this is Desert Lily. Y'all, I love this. This has a pretty good dent. 
This smells like a perfume. It's, oh, I don't want to even spray it. This is one I don't want to use and wish I would have gotten it back up. It's a compliment getter. It smells like a luxurious floral perfume. A little musky, a little powdery. It's good. It's good. Desert Lily. Okay, next we're going to talk about Tempting Pear Jasmine. And this is a nice kind of sweet pear floral scent. And for some reason, it's reminding me of John Paul Gaultier's La Belle. Yeah, so that's a nice one. I'm just tired of pear. This is Blushing Berry Magnolia. There's a dent right there. I can't remember how these smell, y'all. I haven't sprayed these in a minute for some of them. Oh, yeah, this is a, a nice berry scent. Kind of a strawberry floral scent that's unique. Yeah. So Blushing Berry Magnolia. We also have Radiant Berry. And the dent is right there. And this is one, it's really pretty. It's a creamy um, raspberry scent that's like nice, light, and sweet. A good one, Radiant Berry. And this, oh my goodness, I love this. And you'll see when you, you'll see how much I love it when you see the dent. This is Vanilla Dusk. We're right there because I stopped myself from using it. This is a tropical honey Tahitian vanilla that is so good. It's year round, but if it just has like that tropical vibe to it. I Love this. I wish I had. This is three bottle worthy, but I was purchasing this before I started backing up some fragrance mist. This, I regret to this day, I'm not backing up. If I, Whenever I go to a Victoria's Secret outlet, I'm always looking for this. This and it's a cherry mist from Pink. I'm always looking for the, the those two. And the, it's another one. The cake, the cake one from that sweet collection. I'm always looking. It's those three are the ones I'm always looking for and never find. So vanilla dusk. Okay, this is the green pear and citrus. Has a nice dent in it, and this just smells like a fresh pear. If I'm remembering, um, yeah, it smells like a fresh, super fresh citrusy pear scent. So nice, but. It's one I have to be in the mood to wear. It's not one I think of. Again, with this whole line, that's why I stopped myself from purchasing any more of the mists because I don't think of but one of them to wear. So that's why when they have the sale, I never look at these because I don't wear the ones I have. This is Pomegranate Lotus. And this is nice. This is a fruity pomegranate, nice fragrance mist, but I just don't think of it often, but it is a nice dent in it. Now, this is the one I really think of from this collection, and you'll see coconut, milk, and rose. Substantial dentage going on. This is feminine, soft, pretty, creamy rose. So good. So good. Love this one. Coconut, milk, and rose. Okay, this is Glittering Iris, and the dent is right there. This is one, I finished the whole bottle. It's a sugary, powdery, perfumey coconut scent that I used to get so many compliments on, and I'm just, you know, taking my time with this one because it is so good, Glittering Iris. This is another one I finished the whole bottle of. This is Blackberry Fizz. This is a creamy, fun, blackberry um, kind of sorbet scent. What does they have on here? It's very pretty. Did I finish a bottle of this? I think I did. If I didn't, y'all, I apologize for lying. <laughs> because I, I think I did, but now I'm questioning myself. But here's the dent right there. I also 
have a pretty good dent in Forbidden Rose. And that surprised me because this is one, this is, if I remember correctly, it's kind of a perfumey rose scent. Yeah, it's a dark kind of rose. It's good though. That's probably why I had that dent in it. It is, it's, it looks like this picture, like a dark, mysterious rose. I like it. Forbidden Rose. This is a mitten. No, let's do this one because I know this went with that collection. This is Lotus Desire. And there's the dent on that one. I really do remember loving this one. Can't smell it now. Yeah, this is a soft floral, but it's a soft, sweet, floral, woody scent. This smells expensive. Yeah, this is a good one. Lotus Desire. Here is a Midnight Blooms, and that has a pretty good dent. This is the one that smells similar to Ariana Grande's Cloud, the Baccarat uh, 540 DNA. So yeah, I love this one, and um, it's a good one, y'all, as you can see by the dent. Now, you can't see the dent in this, but I can. This is Candy Baby, and I'm about right here. Y'all, this is a sugary candy um mango scent that's really nice and that is this collection is the one that i'm always looking for that i think it's called cake sprinkles or something that i wish i had to this day wish i had to this day but this one is a good one also again candy baby this is another one i absolutely love this is bloom box now you can't see but i'm about right here on this Oh my goodness, this is your young, fresh, um, modern, sweet rose scent. I mean, it doesn't smell like a traditional rose scent at all. It's like a candy rose, a fun rose. I love this one. And again, that is Bloom Box. Whew. Okay, this is Bare Vanilla La Creme. And you can probably see the dent better that way. I love this one. Oh my goodness, I love it. It's a light minty vanilla. I wish I had a couple of backups of this one. It is good, good. I finished, I ended up with two lotions. I don't know how that happened when I did the order. So I finished up a lotion and then I have one lotion and this mist left and I'm holding on for dear life. It is so good. And this is your traditional OG bare vanilla. See the dent, see the dent, okay. This is just your warm, fluff, not, it's not fluffy. It's your warm, kind of smooth, um, your gourmand vanilla. It's really good. It makes me think of, when I wear this, I get told, oh, you smell like cookies. And maybe that's the combos I come up with. But yeah, I love this one, Bare Vanilla. Okay, this is one of the fragrance mists, you know, they have the ones fragrance mist that go with their perfumes and this is oh so sexy y'all that's a pretty good dent and i don't even remember when i was wearing this i don't think i've only had this two years it's okay and it's a hard one for me to describe the oh so sexy the oh so party because i had oh so party and then you wonder, did I get this mist to use with O's? I don't know. It's like a fruity, creamy scent. It's just okay. So once I finish this, I'm done trying to make myself like the old soul line. Because I get them and people, I get compliments and people like them on me. And say, yeah, it smells really good, but I don't fall in love with them. So this one is also in my project, Use It Up. And I use this much of it and can't even remember. That ought to tell you something. Okay, this is Emerald Crush. This is another one I be trying to hold on to for dear life. Oh my goodness. This Oh my goodness. It's like pear champagne. I've talked about this I don't know how many times. I love this Emerald Crush. This is a Velvet Petals. Pretty good dent, pretty good dent. I can't even smell this one now. It's been a minute since I've worn this. This is 
just a sweet almond floral scent. It's nice. When I finish this, I don't know if I'm going to rush to get velvet petals because, again, it's kind of forgettable. It's forgettable for me. But I do enjoy it, as you can see. I mean, I went through wearing it sometime. <laughs> this is a love of mine. This is Bali Coconut Palm. Y'all, Victoria's Secrets Coconut. Let me spray this. I remember when I was reviewing this, I was like, this is a sexy coconut. Because Bath and Body Works, they do the fun coconut. But Vicky adds just a little bit some to the coconut. This is a coconut pineapple scent that smells... Like, it's, it's a woman walking on the beach that's a little hot. And, you know, you sweat and you got the sand on you and you're just walking... That's what it smells like. It just has a little, and that's Vicky for you. It's got a little bit of sex in this thrown in there. And that is Bali Coconut Palm. From that collection also, this is San Tropez Beach Orchid. I love this collection. Oh my goodness. This is just your beachy floral scent. Now this has honeysuckle, but I like this. So I guess honeysuckle has to be done right for me. But yeah, I love this San Tropez Beach Orchid. Another one, pretty deep dent. This is Capri Lemon Leaves. And this smells like, I remember how it smells. It smells like a lemon tree on a beach. Yes, it, that's what it smells like. It smells like a lemon tree on a beautiful island. And the wind is blowing and you're getting... Oh, the smell of lemons in the air. I love this. Capri lemon leaves. This is Bright Palm. Pretty good dip. This is the one that smells like YSL. It's a YSL black opium flanker. I can't not think of the name right now. This is what it reminds me of. This is a smooth, kind of creamy, milky, um, fruity coconut scent. Yeah, I like it. I really do. Bright Palm. Oh, I had this one in that collection too. I knew I liked this collection. This is Santorini Neroli Water. I had talked about this. I don't know how many times you see the dent. This smells like bubble bath. You know that replica perfume that's called bubble bath? I don't like that. To me, it's too harsh. It's just astringent. I just, that is not the way I want my bubble bath to smell, okay? This smells soft, soapy, clean, pretty, a little powdery. I do have a backup of this. Finally, I only have one though. But I might let myself just go to town this summer with this. Or when I feel like wearing it now. Since I do have one more. Because I love it. I stopped wearing it because I wanted to find one more. And I did. I think at a semi-annual sale, they, they brought it back. Oh, I love it. Santorini Neroli Water. Okay, y'all. We got two more from Vicky to go. This is Petal High. Pretty good dip. This is a soft, marshmallowy, pretty floral scent. Love it. This is Harvest Moon Gaze. Pretty substantial dip. This smells like the YSL Lieb line. Point blank period. It's softer, I think, than fairy tale. Because fairy tale, I can spray too much from Bath and Body Works. So I'm like, <gasps> this is not like that. Yeah. I actually do I like this more than fairy tale. I mean, this one has a pretty big dent, and fairy tale doesn't, so maybe so. But again, that is Harvest Moon. Is it gaze? Yes, Harvest Moon Gaze. All right, y'all. So let me count these from uh, Vicky and Pink, and then we will see how many I had a dent in in my Victoria's Secret Fragrance Mist collection. Okay, y'all. That was 41 Fragrance Mist that I had dents in from Vicky. So whoever requested this video, thank you. 
Because I would say, oh, I don't use my Victoria's Secret as much. And, and look, I got 41 with pretty good dents in them. So, yay for me, okay? I am using my fragrance mist from Vicky. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the non, you know, you know, I'm lying. Because I found, it's three I forgot to show you from Bath and Body Works. So I'm going to show you now. Okay, so this is Strawberry Pound Cake. I don't remember using this one, but obviously I did because the dent is right here. Y'all know I love Strawberry Pound Cake. It was a hate, then it turned into a love. So I'm not going to talk about Strawberry Pound Cake. We know how it smells. This is one I was using um, a shimmer, a diamond shimmer mist. This is Sunset Glow. This is in my Project Use It Up. Look at that dent, y'all. Pretty good dent. Now I'm mad at myself because I forgot about that and put it back in the bag. and could have been using that with Sugar Cherry Crisp because of that cherry note in there. <laughs> okay and also this is honey wildflower now this has a pretty substantial dent this is a honey floral scent it's nice but it is not one that i am in love with um at first i was going back and forth with it and then i kept not getting it a backup during the semi a so i think two years ago and i'm fine with that um it's a good transitional scent to me but it's it's not it smell it's good it smells good but I want more of the honey less of the floral, um, but I do love wearing this with my honey body butter from Bath and Body Works and that's where this dent came from because they do smell really good layered together. Okay, so I wanted to show those from Bath and Body Works that I forgot about. Now these are kind of standalones. Uh, before I get to some that I have a few of so i have two here from ariana grande this is moonlight look at that dent y'all look at that dent i love this and i'm not it smells really good would i repurchase the mist who knows probably not i'd probably just get the perfume um, but I have a whole video reviewing Ariana Grande fragrance mist. If you haven't seen it, I will link it above. Check it out. I love Moonlight. This smells good. I am enjoying using it. Love it. This is Cloud. So Cloud, I am right here using Cloud. Again, I'm not going to talk about how Cloud smells. It smells like the perfume. It's nice. And I'm trying to use them up and I'm enjoying myself while doing so. Okay, I have this one from Soap and Glory. This is the original pink mist. As you can see, I don't know, can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. I'm right here. This smells like the pink uh, Righteous Butter, that line. And this is strong and lasts for me. I love this. Love this mist. Okay, this is Island Vanilla from Pacifica. I'm about right here on this. And this is a nice vanilla. But the thing with Pacifica, I'm looking down here. I think this has turned, y'all. <laughs> Cause I think it is. Oh my goodness. Cause it's not smelling the same. I'm gonna have to spray it out. Ugh. Okay, it smells a little off. But that's the thing about Pacifica. You have to use their stuff quickly. And I've had this, I want to say two years. And you can't be going over there. And it says 24 months because it's a more natural, it's a clean brand. So they don't have as many preservatives. So I, ugh, I'm trying to think, do I want to throw this one away? I might just use this as a shower spray because it doesn't smell bad, but I don't want to put it on my body. So yeah. So if you have Pacifica, don't don't think Pacifica gonna last as long as Bath and Body and Vicky because it's it's not. So yeah, but I did use quite a bit of it before. You know, now I don't want to put it on my body. I use it in my hair, use it on my body, and I do like this vanilla again. That is Island Vanilla. This is a love of mine. This is pure grace. You see the dent um, body mist. It smells exactly like the perfume. 
just oh my goodness clean feminine shower fresh powdery musky smells like a good clean woman's skin love that pure grace this is nude for, nude sugar this is tony braxton's line that has a pretty nice dent in it this is just a soft um sweet scent and i do really enjoy the mist i've done oh what did i what did i call this series random review wednesday's video featuring this i will link it above check it out if you want to hear more about that line and i think this is the last like one that i don't have that many of this is the moroccan oil um fragrance mist look at that dent i've talked about this a lot this smells like high-end argon uh spa scent love it and but, okay I want to address if you haven't seen my because I thought about this when I was uh, re-watching and editing my video y'all I haven't gotten to where I can just add things in easily I'm gonna get there though I'm gonna become a master editor okay well maybe not a master um but this is expensive it's over twenty dollars and in that video if you haven't seen it bath and body works through spring release video i will link it above check it out i was saying i'm not paying twenty dollars for a fragrance mist i should have clarified that i'm not paying twenty dollars for a, a bath and body victoria's secret fragrance mist because to me they're not on that level this is a salon luxury hair brand so i know it's not going to be affordable you know so i will pay more for this and I think it lasts a long time for me. It's in a glass bottle. It's not on the same level as this. So that that's my point. Like I'm not going to pay it for those mists. So segue into that, I have Dents and Sol de Janeiro. You know, their uh, fragrance mists now I think are 24 for this size, which I'm not feeling because it was 20. Now 24 is pushing it, okay? They're pushing it for three ounces, even though they're a luxury brand. But again, I just wanted to clarify, I'm willing to pay 20 plus dollars for some fragrance mist, but I'm not willing to pay it for Vicky and Bath and Body Works. Okay, so this is Sol de Janeiro's Anita. As you can see, I love this. This is fun, pineapple fruity in the sun love this and i was going to get one more of these for a backup because I, I don't want it to be gone but i am going to use it this summer because it's good i'm not going to hold on to it it was limited edition for years and i guess they finally actually made it limited edition and it's gone maybe they'll bring it back for the summer and if they do i will be getting another one because i love it and that is again anita look at the dent this is Ch uh charosa 71 now this has you know, a pretty good dent in it also, but this is so strong. This is Christmas cookies on steroids, okay? And uh, again, you don't have to use a lot of these fragrance mists from uh, Sol de Janeiro, for some of them, to really last. And this one is strong and you can put too much on and be choking yourself out like you would a perfume. But it's good, good. Again, that's Chirosa 71. The last one I have from Sol de Janeiro is Brazilian Crush 68. This has a nice dent in it. This is the one, Baccarat, Ariana Grande's Cloud DNA. I couldn't resist the pink packaging, so I didn't mind being redundant. <laughs> because it smells good and i like it it's the fruity version of cloud and baccarat in my opinion so i do love this okay so i have some from mix bar here this is vanilla bourbon nice dent this is a boozy vanilla simple sweet to the point and i need to use these more this is blackberry tonic. This has mm, pretty good dent, but you can notice it. This is a soft blackberry, somewhat powdery scent. I do like this. I just don't tend to reach for, I tend to go to, for the perfume over the mist. And that's what I've noticed with me. I don't need to buy the mist and the perfume in, in a fragrance because then one of them is not being used. So... I learned that about myself. 
This is glass rose, a nice dent. This is a pretty kind of traditional rose scent, but it still doesn't smell dated to me. I do like it. And again, that is Mixed Bar Glass Rose. And last from Mixed Bar is Coconut Palm. Y'all, I, this is like a, it's a, this is a difficult coconut to describe. I did a whole video on Mixed Bar because it's after work and I'm tired. And this is my second video. <laughs> and I just, I don't want to think. So if I have to think about to try to explain it, I'm just not. It's a coconut that's unique and I do like it. And if you want to hear more about the Mix Bar entire line, I will link that video above. Check it out. Okay, last but certainly not least, I have three fragrance mists from Bodycology. These are the most affordable fragrance mists up here. These four dollars. Now, I hope they're still four dollars at, at uh, Walmart because I haven't looked at Bodycology at Walmart in a long time. It says every, everything went up, up, up. So I'm gonna say they're less than five. I'm gonna give room for inflation and, and hope that they didn't go over $5. This is Pink Vanilla Wish. Nice dent. This is the one. Ooh, this smells like Dior perfume. Like a Miss Dior perfume. It smells really good. It's strong, it's long lasting. Love this one, Pink Vanilla Wish. This is Raspberry and Daisy. I remember I was going out at Walmart. What was I doing? I was doing something for work. And let me let me ask y'all. I'm the type when I get to work, I don't want to be leaving and going to have to do stuff for work unless I'm going to the house. So when I have to leave campus and go do something, I just can't stand it. But I was in Walmart that day and I saw this. I was like, oh. So I got it while I was there because the Walmarts by where I live, I had never seen this one. And this, I don't, you know, where I was working, they had it. So I was like, ooh, I like this trip. This to me reminds me of a Marc Jacobs perfume. You know, the Daisy line. That's how it smells. I love it. Again, raspberry and Daisy. And last, this is Watermelon Splash. Look at that big old dent, y'all. I when Pink Watermelon came out or whatever it's called for Bath and Body Works, I was going crazy for watermelon scents. And this is a good dupe of the watermelon scents from Bath and Body Works. It smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. It's fun. It's it's easy to wear. It's affordable. You do have to, it's not as long lasting as Pink Vanilla Wish. You know, but it lasts me a couple hours and you could just now one thing to be careful with these fragrance mists they will leak so i will say that if you want to bring this with you 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 they they might leak so if you got an expensive bag i wouldn't say you throw this in the bag because some of them leak but i do enjoy this one and again it is watermelon splash <sighs> Okay, y'all, just for the heck of it, I'm, oh, so with Bath and Body Works, I think in that video, I finished 32, so with these three, they're three, they're four, they're five, so that's 35, y'all know I like those numbers, that I have dents in from Bath and Body Works. Now, let's see how many fragrance mists I have dents in that are not Bath and Body Works and Vicky. Okay, y'all, so that is 17 that I have dents in that are not from Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret. So I think that gives me a total, wait a minute, hold on. So that gives me a total of almost a hundred, almost a hundred fragrance mists in my collection with dents in them. And oh my goodness, oh, <laughs> I am not counting how many fragrance mists I have. So y'all don't even ask me, <laughs> but you see, I'm using them. I am using them, okay? So if you enjoyed the finale of showing you my dents of my products, well, of my fragrances in my collection, please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me, tell me how many fragrance mints from Victoria's Secrets you have dents in. You know, at, with the most used, because who y'all might not have time to, you know, go through and be checking all this. So tell me your most used fragrance mist from Victoria's Secret, and then your most used fragrance mist that's not 
from Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works? Leave that in the comment section below. I would love to know. Please share this video with everyone who loves to use the stuff in their collection, okay? And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.